Uh, Ms. Robinson, name and address for the record. Sunny Robinson, 20 Harvard Street. I have the stand. Please. Sure. Thank you. Oops. Not that you there, were there, there's, <laughs> hardly, there's hardly room to stand. Um, I have three interrelated questions, and I just asked them all in a row so you could pursue them. One is structures. What do structures mean? How do any structures that the owner wants to build and this says they can, how do they get reviewed? Who makes those decisions? What's that whole process? A second question related to what Councillor Vigor was saying is, why in the world would the city make an agreement without one, with one landowner without in fact having the entire beach lined up and secured in exactly the same kind of way, rather than doing this piecemeal. And a third issue relates to what Councillor Toby was just saying. Since this is now a declaration of a private beach with public use, who maintains all of those services that Councillor Toby was talking about? The water testing, the lifeguard, the cleaning up the beach, the picking up the beach. I'm going to volunteer answers, Suzanne, to, to two and three. Um, two, starting to get stats on it. And I see this as log rolling. And this is the first log. And I assume General Counsel intends to pursue this with the other property owners. Is that a safe assumption? Yes. yes. Uh, so far as number three is concerned, there's a public beach. Mm -hmm. um, it would remain a public obligation to do all those things that you spoke about. Would you agree with that? Yes. So question number one, and, and the reason I only did two and three is because I don't remember number one. Number one was structures. It, structures. it talks about um, in section three in particular structures, facilities, and other improvements. Any such coastal structure, etc. What structures are permitted? What's the uh, the review and regulatory process of that? Are we talking seawalls, docks? Outdoor hotel, outdoor uh, restaurant space, cabanas, boardwalks. How, what is that whole process about? Yes. The, the, the um, this is an easement for the rights, legal rights to the use of the beach. All of that permitting and allowing of structures. That's all through zoning and the permitting process. That permitting process is in place. This doesn't affect that. So it's all going to have to come to the city for permission to do anything. Well, furthermore, I would assume that if the city feels that any of those actions, quote, is materially inconsistent with the general public's use of the property as a public beach, and according to paragraph four, um, that that's our trump card. Exactly. 